Ukraine is preparing to declare a state of emergency with no signs of Russian President Vladimir Putin backing down from potentially launching a large-scale invasion of the country. Fox's Madeline Rivera is in Washington with the latest on the crisis between Russia and Ukraine. As a threat of an all-out conflict looms, Ukraine is now calling up military reservists and asking all of its citizens to leave Russia. We have said many times that the main task of Russia is to achieve its goal of internal destabilization. President Vladimir Putin is defiant despite a series of sanctions that international leaders have slapped against his cronies and Russian banks. Republicans are slamming President Biden for releasing a first tranche of sanctions, pushing for a tougher response. It's almost a little too late at this point, but what we need to do as Americans is to push back on President Putin. Go after him personally. A meeting between the president and Putin is off the table for now until Russia de escalates the situation by pulling back troops, the president threatening more economic penalties if Russia further invades. They're long lasting and sustainable and they're intended to squeeze. But Americans are likely to feel the squeeze too, with a crisis potentially driving gas prices up. U.S. businesses could also face cyber threats, warns the Department of Homeland Security. Those consequences, we're already feeling them, right? We're feeling them at the gas pump. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has asked for an all-Senate briefing on the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Congress is eyeing its next steps after it failed to pass a Russia sanctions package last week. In Washington, Malheur Vera, Fox News.